Hello there, fans of Need for Speed Carbon. I am going to be helping you on giving you tips on how to fight Kenji. So, you know, first of all, Kenji is one of the easiest people to fight because he is the first boss to race. So, if you get somebody fast, something faster, like, for example, this car, um, like the Aston Martin. He only drives a Mazda XR8, so, just lower the volume. Alright, so, uh, if you want, I will show you how by giving you tips. So, let's start with this. Um, first of all, I do have Infinite Nitrous and Speed Breaker from Cheats. And, you know, just like if you find Cheats on another YouTube video, that will help. Always look back to see if you can block Kenji. Because he is a tuner and he does lag in speed. Like, for example, I did not look back and he got ahead of me. So, now I have to catch up, but... You can even use Speed Breaker. Here, and here's a little trick I learned. First of all, there's a couple shortcuts. Here's the first one. Now, coming up, there's going to be a shortcut on your left. Do not take that shortcut. Just use Speed Breaker. And use it slowly for this turn. And it's always going to be the first turn on your right. It's going to be very, very tricky. But if you use Speed Breaker it'll possibly help so also another tip after you do speed breaker like I'll show you you can use nitrous but not right after because then you'll flip over so use speed breaker and then after that put nitrous here's another shortcut now if you're gonna speed up be worried because it's gonna be a very sharp corner so you know, break or a speed breaker. I'm a br I'm a speed breaker person. Since this is tuner country, there are a lot of sharp turns. So, you know, be aware of that. If you do drive a tuner, um, you have an equal match. If you drive an exotic like I do right now, um, you have better chance with speed, but bad handling, like pretty bad handling. All right, now on the second lap, Kenji is going to get more and more aggressive to winning this race. So, make sure you look behind you double time after the first lap. And use nitrous as much as possible if you cannot find the cheats. Like, um, don't do it right when it comes back on. Just give it a little time, and I would say about like half when it's half full, um, use it. So remember, let's try this again. All the shortcuts. After the first, after the first lap, the shortcuts become your most priority for right now. Because if you don't use them, Kenji will. So he can get the lead again. There's also some other obstacles that you can put, like this one, but make sure you get both. Like that did not slow him down. So now you have to catch up again. But it's okay. Because if you did unlock cheats, the cheats will help you a lot. And remember what I said about the shortcuts, they're the most priority for everything. And beware of that shortcut with the tight turn because that can actually cause you to slow down if you hit the wall and, you know, it kind of just blocks you. Um, if you do have choices for a faster car than this, please, please do get that car. Because it will help you a lot. So those are the basics for the street. Now, I will show you how to beat Kenji in the canyon. First thing in the canyon, 
what you want to do is just draft him. But since Kenji drives a tuner, he lacks speed, so try to pass him in the straightaway, which means that big straight road. So, let me show you. Like this big straight road, if you, if you have a faster car than Kenji's, please, please, please try to pass him. Oh, dang. Um, as you saw, I messed up big time right there, so... There are not as many sharp turns as there are in the streets, but if you are a beginner and if you can see on the top right, right now would be your most priority right now to get him in those areas. Anything in the yellow or above, um, that would be that would be very good. That would just be perfect. Um, now, like I said, if you do not know what drafting means, just stay on his tail as long as you can. Like right behind him, every move he makes, do the same thing. Like I cannot do because I do drive an exotic and he drives a tuner. Um, avoid the yellow barriers at all costs, because if you do pass those, you will automatically lose the race, as you probably saw when I, I first started this. Alright, so, what you want to try is get him, is at least get up to 130 points, 30,000 points, I mean, 130,000 points, like, um, I have 130,000 points. Now, when you're in front of him, it's very different because if you do have a faster car, you can easily win. Just try to do your best. And if you can, do look behind you like you did in the streets because he will try to pass you. Like that. So... If that does happen to you, do not worry, just try to catch up. Like, I did not worry a bit. Alright, but for the break, since it's a tuner canyon, beware that what I do is I let go of the accelerator and press the brake and then uh, um, floor the accelerator again. Then that does seem to work a lot, because I... Because for me, it's usually the e-brake, but it's kind of simpler to use the brakes a lot. So, um, there's not really much needed to be said in the canyon, but if you can, uh, try to get him in the yellow or under. Like I said in the beginning of the canyon, get him a yellow or above. This time, try to get at least a yellow or under, because that can help. Uh, what else is there? Like I said, many sharp turns for Tuner Canyon. Um, so, at this downhill, you're going to have to floor it, because that's the part where it is really, really, like, where you just want to floor right there. So there you have it. Um, if you do have any more tips, please send me... Or, not me, I mean, send other people tips, make other videos. And, um, if this has helped you, please send me comments so I know what to do for the next video. Um, just send me any comments to see how it helped you, or if it didn't help you, maybe I could have helped you even more. So, anything else? No? Thank you for watching the video, and do send me those comments.